before going to the army's radio tower sits well with me. Is it really worth taking a risk like that? Can't say. Maybe I've let my ego get the better of me. It's fine. Let the old fogey do what he wants. Uh, maybe I should just run away, but... But what about... Never heard anyone talk to themselves so loud. So what if people hear me? Nobody cares about me anyway. I'm so forgettable, not even my fellow diamonds know I exist. Oh, so you're with the bandits, huh? Not by choice. They kidnapped me young and put me to work. I'm supposed to earn my freedom after this job, except I can't do it. And since they barely acknowledge me, I figured I might as well just run off now. And then again, if they remember about me and come after me... Just finish the job, man. They want me to take out some monsters so they can expand their territory. How the heck am I supposed to do that alone? That certainly does sound dangerous. What do you think, Prince? Should we help him? Do we have to? I want to help this young man get his life back on track. You... You... You mean you'll actually help me? <laughs> that would be amazing! I personally don't see what's wrong with him being an outlaw. Please! I'll give you something in return! Alright already! I've just gotta beat him, yeah? That's right! Thank you so much! Whoop! Here we go. So, what are you gonna tell everyone? The truth, and what's been on my mind. I've got a bad feeling about this. Closing up shop already? Uh, yeah, uh, mm, there's someone I have to meet right now. Someone from the Royal Army? Or maybe the news office? Why would you think that? You've been acting strange ever since the warning about the punishment for hiding Shiva. I'm sure you figured out who we are by now. You saw right through me. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you were planning on ratting us out to the royal army? We're putting the whole town in danger by letting you people stay here. Your concerns are justified. We don't intend to cause you good people any trouble. We promise to never come back again. Just please allow Anne to keep staying here. She's a personal guest of Mayor Tors and had no part in the theft of the tank. Well, in that case, fine. Hold on. We all busted out of the base in that tank to get... Prince, thief, let's get going. I'm gonna miss that garage. It was like our secret hideout. Let's not be so hasty. Mayor Tor! 80s, don't you know what these people are doing? They've been trying to find a spring. And not just for their own personal benefit, mind you. They're trying to help everyone. Are you crazy? If you do that, the army will hunt you for the rest of your lives. Probably, but I can't stand by as the people of this nation suffer any longer. Even if it means putting your life at risk and exposing your secret, General Shiva? That is not my name anymore. But yes, even so. It's this warmongering fool's duty to return the future he stole from this country. Hmm. You heard the man. How about this, 80s? Perhaps we should hear from the entire town before making our final decision. I'm sure each resident has their own thoughts on the matter. You're... Right. This wasn't something for me to decide on my own. Hey, you're with Rao, right? Aren't you leaving with him? I was considering it, but they shot me down. Said I wasn't part of their crew. What gives? Talk about harsh. <laughs> right? I know they're just trying to protect me, but it still hurts. It's frustrating. But part of me is happy to know how much they care. So, I've decided to do what I can by looking after this place. That way, they'll always have somewhere to go back to. Sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear. Ah, you sound like one of their crew, all right. In a good way. Oh? Sorry we gave you the wrong idea. We wanted to tease you for a bit, but we're not here to chase you out. We'll be happy to have you here. We know you guys are salt of the earth. The others don't know you like we do. We'd never rat you out. We've never met anyone as good-hearted as you guys. Though BLs would hate being called that. <laughs> that he would. So anyway... We're glad you'll be standing guard at the garage. And stay put. Leave convincing the villagers to us. You've got it. It might have to wait for a bit, but we owe her an apology. It might have to wait for a bit, but we owe her an apology. What's wrong, Fleeka? Did you wet the bed again or something? No, it's just that everyone in town seems mad and I'm scared. Forgive me. I'm afraid that's all my fault. Did you get in a fight with them? Not exactly. It's more like I'm what they're all fighting over. I don't want to upset children. I think it's best we leave. Are you guys leaving? That's what we're all trying to decide. But I don't want you or Beelzebub to go. Maybe you should tell everyone that. Okay. She's a good kid. 
It's thanks to all of you that she could grow up to be so kind and carefree. Hmm. Why, I suppose you could say it takes a village, huh? We don't want to disturb the community you've built here. Plika considers all of you a part of that community too, you know. This cruel world only ever seems to take more and more away from us. That's why the rare gifts it gives, like new friendships, are something to be truly cherished. That's very kind of you. I'm just not sure it would be right of me to take advantage of such kindness. Ladies! Is it true that you want to report Shiva? Yeah, that's right. I would have done it too, if Mayor Tor hadn't stopped me. And he was right too. We won't submit to the Royal Army's threats even if it kills us. Oh, are you still carping about that? The Civil War's long since over. For 30 years, to be precise. And we lost. Can't you accept that already? Ah, the Royal Army is still the same bunch of jackbooted thugs they were back then. And I won't stop fighting until that changes. Good grief. Once his temper flares, all you can do is wait for him to cool down on his own. Just leave him be. That said, I don't think we should report General Shiva either. He may have been our enemy in the past, but he's a decent, honest man. I mean, he's trying to find water for everyone, isn't he? I trust him. That means a lot. And if he takes the royals down a peg in the process, I can die happy. Hold on. Do you still hate the royal army too, then? You have to ask? <laughs> like I'd ever forgive them for leaving my hometown in ruins. <sighs> I think I know where I stand now. I think we've heard enough. Right. Let's get the others. It seems we have our verdict now. <laughs> seems like it. Who knew hatred for the royal army ran so deep? <laughs> <laughs> the rebel army spirit appears to be alive and well. See? There are others who support your cause. Hmm. Sounds like we've really got to find that spring now. Guess so. Do you need anything? yourselves a car frame you bet we did but we need more parts to build our car have any idea where we can nab some hmm. I'm afraid I can't help as far as parts go but I'm sure you'll come across some sooner or later cars love car lovers after all I suppose well guess we'll keep an eye out then let me take that car of yours for a spin once you build it <laughs> I'll think about it imagination or has the t oh yeah I found something cool so I'll share it with you bring me any rare items you find I'll make it worth your while oh that merchant told me he was saved by a demon on his way here that was you wasn't it Beelzebub let me thank you too you truly are a lifesaver <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Can't you just let her thank you? <laughs> I've got new wares available thanks to you. Feel free to take a look. Welcome. Thank 
you for coming. Do you need any? Let's go back and let Hez know the job's done. Traveling, old man? A fair bit. I traveled all over in my younger days. Nice. Did you ever run into trouble? Every single time. This world's full of danger, after all. soldiers all over Sandland? There's even a bunch near our village. Most of them are stationed near the royal capital. It can be a lot more hit and miss the farther you get away from there. You'll also see supply- Damn. Nothing's going my way. What's up, old man? Oh? Oh! Are you... a demon? Yep. I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub. <laughs> my luck must really have run out to cross paths with a demon. Did he just click his tongue at the prince? He must not know the meaning of fear. Hey, did you not hear what I said? Could you be a little more scared? Huh. So what if you're the fiend prince? I'm a hunter, and a Genji dragon's the next target I plan on bagging. A demon child's nothing in comparison. You're hunting Genji dragons? Best drop that dud of a plan now. Even I'm no match for that beast. Ha! <laughs> Don't put you and me in the same basket. I've compiled the Genji Dragon Strategy Guide to bring it down. Hmm, sounds interesting. Let me take a look at it. A way to kill the Genji Dragon. If one really exists, I'm also interested. No can do. 
The cave I hid it in collapsed. Ugh. No one's reading it now. You'll have to fetch it yourself if you want to see it. Bring it to me and I'll let you read it. Heck, I'll even pay you. I guess. Here we go. Oh, is that the strategy guide? Looks like it. Oh, you really brought it. Thanks. Here's your reward. Still, talk about tough luck. After so many natural disasters, Sandland's in bad shape. There might be other blocked caves like this one. True. We'll keep an eye out for them. Mm-hmm. Never mind that. You'll let me read that guide, right? I, Zeph, the giant beast hunter, wrote it. Read it with care. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, what sloppy handwriting. A good match for Kyuki. Oi, old man, this looks like it was written by a toddler. I wrote it on the road, so you might have to squint a little. But it can't be that bad. Like right here, it says, uh, that the dragon, um, uh, the dragon, uh, oof. See? Damn. Guess I have to rewrite it. How unlucky can you get? Next time, sit down while you write. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. I'll rewrite it carefully once I find a base for my hunt. A base? You're looking for a place to stay? You should go to Spino then! Spino? A town looking for new residents to help rebuild it. I see. Which means there aren't a whole lot of inhabitants yet. Guess it'd be a perfect place to settle down. Write a book. Alright. I'll move into that Spino place of yours. And once I'm done with the book, Gedgy Dragon will be on the menu. Guess you'll be going hungry. I think you're unfortunately right. Thank you for coming. Hey, you there. You have a minute? You do, don't you? Can you do me a huge favor and get me something? Huh? No way. Please? My boss will kill me if I don't get ten pieces of iron ore. Get it yourself, then. I've tried, I promise. I was mining for it till just now. Then I found a comic someone left behind at the mine. And it was really good. I completely lost track of the time. Is the comic really that good? You like comics? I'll let you read it if you bring me the ore. Here, take this while you're at it. Hmm. Woohoo! You're the best. Thanks, buddy. Did you get what I need? 
Thanks, you're a lifesaver. The boss can't be angry at me now. I did your favor. Can I see the comic now? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. I know, right? <laughs> oh, and here's the thing I promised. Thanks. I can never have too many of these. So bring some over if you have any to spare. I'll repay you, of course. And stock up on some new comics, too. Slacking off as usual. This comic's just too good. <sighs> anyway, I'm in need of some more of this stuff. Got any? If oh, very nice. Thanks. Here, the promised scrap. Pleasure doing business. In a hurry? Feel free to read some comics before going. Eh, I think I'm good. Okie doke. Stop by and have a read any time. Oh, I could still use more. Hit me up when you have extra. Well, well. Not bad for a base of operations. Looks like you'll have to put up with me for a while. Do you need anything? See you later. As I thought, we don't have enough. Why the long face, Gramps? Oh, it's you, Beelzebub. Well, Spino has been really picking up lately. Isn't that good news? It is, which is why I thought this would be a great opportunity to build new facilities for the town. That sounds great. Where's the problem then? We don't have enough materials to build new bridges or buildings. We can make do salvaging old materials here and there, but scraps are scraps. I'd like to use something more durable. I don't know 
much about construction, but it sounds like a lot of work. Well, it would go faster if I could lay hands on some raptor steel. Raptor steel? What's that? It's a kind of metal that's been alloyed with raptor scales. It's stronger and more malleable than normal steel. Bolts, nuts. You can even make pipes with it. It can be used for almost anything. It can be used to upgrade vehicles too. Upgrade vehicles? For real? Now you've got his interest. I'll help you get some, if it means we can upgrade our stuff. Wonderful! Your help would be most appreciated. However, you can't just find raptor steel out in nature. Only a skilled material processor would be capable of crafting some. Then we just need to bring someone like that to Spino. A skilled material processor. Oh, that's right. Back in the day, I used to know a skilled craftsman called Nors. And nowadays, he's running a workshop in Talbo, I think. Could you go see him for me? Nors in Talbo? Okay. We're on it. Great, thanks. In the meantime, I'll do what I can with what we have on hand. Good luck. So what exactly is a material processor? A craftsman who turns ores or animal parts into all sorts of refined goods, from machine parts to useful items. <laughs> yeah? And what does a demon like you want with me? Huh? You're looking for a material processor called Norse? <laughs> Sorry. You can look high and low. You're not gonna find him. Why is that? Norse? My pop. He's dead. That's why. For real? How are we supposed to get raptor steel now? Oh, so you're a customer. No worries there. Pop taught me the trade. Give me any order, and I'll fill it. Then come work as a material processor in Spino. Come and ride a... Wait, how'd we even get on this subject? Didn't you want raptor steel? Uh-huh. But you see, there's this town. Ah, so Spino needs a material processor. And the mayor remembered my pop. Uh, sorry to say this after you came all this way. But no can do. I can't just leave my little sister here on her own. Damn it. Hey, wait! I heard everything. Don't worry, little demon. I'll come to Spino. This. <laughs> Don't talk nonsense. It's not nonsense. I've been thinking for a while that I want to leave the nest and open a workshop of my own. No, I won't allow it. Even with Pop's friend there, you can't go to a new town alone. It's always the same with you. All you say is no, no, no. Let me live my own life for once. I said no. If you won't listen, then I'll go to Spino myself. I bet they'd rather have someone skilled anyway. What'd you say? Don't think I didn't hear that. So you think you're better than I am? Of course I am. That's it. Let's face off to see who'll go to Spino. Face off? We'll both make raptor steel and see whose is better. This little demon here will be the judge. 
Winner goes to Spino. <laughs> Sounds fun. Count me in. That okay with you, little demon? Fine by me. It's settled then. Let's get started. Uh, right after you lend us a pure raptor scale, that is. We just ran out. Ah, uh, sure. You need pure raptor scales to make raptor steel. There's a raptor cave northwest of town. Can you go get me some? Back when Talbo was thriving, this town was filled to the brim with craftsmen. But now, it looks like those siblings are the only ones left. Cave must be close, meaning we've almost got our scale. Pure raptors are rare. I doubt they'll be that easy to find. Seem to be here mostly animal bones. The survival what? of the fittest on full display here. here we go. Down. 
Here we go. Is this the Piraptor scale you wanted? Yes, that's it! Now I can get started! Let's see... Uh, what's step one again? Hey, are you sure about this? Well, actually... It's my first time making raptor steel. No, oh, but don't worry, okay? I've watched Stan make it before. How are we supposed to not worry? Uh, uh, anyway, I'll get right to it. So wish me luck. Right? I have to admit, it doesn't look like it's your first time. Maybe to the untrained eye. Stan! Give that here. Look closely. Scratch it a little with a tool, and... What? Huh? The plating came right off! No way! Why? I bet you forgot to treat the base metal surface. Skip that step, and the plating will come right off. It, it just slipped my mind is all. Oh, uh-huh. Please, give me another chance. Sure, why not? <laughs> Go ahead. Do it as many times as you need. Oh, thanks! I'll need more scales then. Oh, right. Well, guess we have to get more. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'll get started right away. There, done. Scratch all you want, but the plating's not coming off this time. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Stan? Hmm. Hey, demon buddy. You confident in your strength? <laughs> Of course I am. Who do you take me for? Then can you try bending this steel with all your strength? No matter how strong he is, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm the fiend prince Beelzebub. Don't doubt my strength. <gasps> <sighs> See? I cracked it! No way. How's that possible? <sighs> What temperature did you do the heat treatment at? About 520 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Uh, I guessed as much. Ugh, what's with you? Stop bullying me already! Is that what he's doing? To me, it looks like he's trying to guide you. Huh? Oh, I get it now! Hey, little fiend! Give me one last chance. Again? I'll succeed for sure this time! I promise! You've helped her this far. Why not stick with it to the end? Ugh, all right. Oh, thank you! You're the best! Sorry to make you go out again, but this is the last time. If it's another flop, I'll give up on going to Spino. It's done. How is it, Stan? <sighs> it 
it's pretty much as good as mine, actually. <laughs> it might even be better. You mean it? Yay! Oh, you're the best big brother ever, Stan! No! Oh! <clears throat> I mean, my raptor steel is ready. Will this Piraptor scale work? Oh, jeez. You, you actually got me one. Wait, what? Uh, I feel bad, but I was hoping you wouldn't find any so we could call this thing off and forget about any of us going to another town. So that was your plan. But since you brought one, I've got to do my job. I'll make my best Raptor steal yet. There. Done. This is the raptor steel Norris taught me to make. One look at that tells me how skilled a craftsman your father must have been. And it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. <laughs> it's always nice to hear Pop get compliments. I'm pretty sure I'll win this. But it's all in your hands now. Both our raptor steals are ready. Win or lose, no grudges. Please speak to the person you want in Spino. Got it. Are you sure you want me? I beat Stan. Well, not fair and square. I needed a second chance and a second second chance. But you chose me. So I'll do my best not to disappoint you. All right, time to pack up. Please look after Bess. She's still impulsive and unreliable, but she's got talent. I'm sure she'll surpass me someday. We should keep our distance from the army base. Hmm. I wonder what's on that hill over there. Look! Hmm? Do you see something in the sky? Something flashed on that hill over there. I'd love to know what it is. But I can't see anything from here. I've got an idea. How about I climb on your shoulder? Wait. Are you... Demon? <laughs> Scared you? I've never been so shocked. You're the first one I've ever seen for myself. And how beautiful you are. Just as I imagined. No, even better. I can't believe you outdid my imagination as an artist. 
demons really are something else. This girl's a total weirdo. I'm out of here. I'm afraid I can't let you. I want to draw you. And you're not going anywhere till I do. Excuse me? I'd love to get started right away. But I'm the type to do things one at a time. Which means my first order of business is going to that hill to see what that light was. Could you wait for me? I should be back in three days or so. Like we'd sit around and wait that long. Oh, what to do, what to do. It'd be faster if I had a vehicle that could jump high. Anyway, you can't leave until I've investigated that light. Understand? Why? Well, I can't draw you until I've checked it out, right? And I won't let you leave until I have, so you're stuck here. This really is a bit of a pickle. <sighs> I'll never understand just what goes on inside artists' heads. Oh, I know! <gasps> you can go check it out for me and tell me what it is. Then, the mystery will be solved and I can draw you after. Then you'll be free to leave. Yeah, it's a win-win for everyone. You just have lint floating around in the head of yours? Oh, I was curious about that too. Let's find out. How about you open it up and take a look for me? Ugh, you're grossing me out. Well, it seems we have no choice but to do as she asked. Fine, I'll check that hill for you. Promise you'll get off my back once I do. Woohoo, I promise, thanks. Come to think of it, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Lutemis, a craftsman. How about you, beautiful being? Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Oh, even your name is beautiful. Ugh, thanks, I guess. Here we go. Treasure chest! Guess the light was getting reflected off it. Did someone hide it here? Whatever. Let's hurry up and tell Lutemis so we can be done with this already. Look! Hey, we went to that hill. Oh, welcome back! So, what was it? A treasure chest. The light was glinting off it. Whoa! A treasure chest in such a place? The world sure is full of wonders. That means treasure could be at the top of other hills too. Well, the only treasure for me right now is you. Don't make me gag. You wanted to draw me, right? Get it over with already. No, this isn't something to be rushed. You're the most inspiring being I've ever met. I'll stay by your side and draw you until I'm satisfied. You gotta be kidding me. No way you're coming with us. My vote is a no too. Then can you at least tell me where you live? If I can't accompany you, I shall await your return there. Uh, Demon Village, I guess. But you can't live there. How about Spino? Right, Spino! They're looking for new residents, so it's perfect. I pop in there from time to time. Spino, got it. I was looking for a place to set up my real trade, furniture making, so this is perfect. And a town with you in it is better than perfect. I'll head there at once. Finally free. You don't meet someone that troublesome every day. Here we go.
we finished your job for you. <laughs> Thank you. Now I can leave the gang without any debts. Oh, right. Here's that reward I promised you. Nice. Thanks. So, what's next? You grew up among bandits, right? Do you have somewhere to go? <laughs> oh, now that you mention it, the gang's all I've ever had. Why not head to Spino then? I'm sure they'll welcome you there. Really? Even though I'm a former bandit? I'm sure it'll all work out. Oh, okay! Guess that's where I'll be going then! I really owe you guys everything. Focus your attacks. Bring them down one by one. Yep. General Are, the tank squadron at the checkpoint has been decimated. They what? General Shiva's tank took them out and continued on. Ugh. Round up all the soldiers in the area and hunt them down! Prince, see the radio tower on top of that hill? That's our target. This'll be a piece of cake. Don't get cocky just yet. The army must be aware of our general location. They're sure to reinforce their defenses in the area. Plenty of towns and villages across Sandland. We should stop by if we come up on any. Won't the townspeople be scared of us demons, though? Surely not everyone will react like that. Some people are bound to be friendly toward you. <sighs> I'd prefer for everyone to be scared, honestly. Watch out for the pincer! It's 
under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. I know, I know! Under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. Maybe you can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. the sand. This won't work. It's the leader of the raptors. Do be careful, Prince. When the terrain's to your disadvantage, keep moving until you're in a better spot. <laughs> I wouldn't stop if you asked me to. Traveling, old man? The tank brigade at the checkpoint. All gone, sir. What? So, the legend lives on. But why would he bother going somewhere so remote? Maybe he's heading for our water source to the south. That's it. The radio tower. He wants to make a broadcast. Signalmen, alert all units near the news radio tower via encrypted transmission. On the double. Sir. 
All vehicles, advance east. Follow me. Do you think we'll ever explore all of Sandland? The thought makes my head spin. I am intrigued, though. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back. Thank you! Here we go! Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in hand. think that there were ruins here as well. People must have lived here a long time ago. No guarantee they were made by humans, though. That's true. Though I have to wonder, what exactly were these ruins built for? What indeed? Could have been a place of worship, or an old house, or perhaps even a sacrificial altar. Or it could be a party venue. A place to host the Harvest Festival, say. A sacrificial altar? 
That's a pretty chilling thought. The festival theory sounds like a lot more fun. We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there! Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, please at least try to be sneaky about it. start by observing them carefully. Knowing what they can do and what their weaknesses are will help you fight effectively. Relatively big. Our bot's ability should come in handy for exploring them. safe to drive a bot around such dilapidated ruins? There's no choice if we want to access all its areas. Maybe so, but I can't, can't help imagining the whole place coming down on our heads. If you ever think you might be lost, you should check the map. Yeah, getting lost and having to backtrack would be a pain.
Royal Army soldiers all over Sandland? There's even a bunch near our village. Most of them are stationed near the Royal Capital. It can be a lot more hit and miss the farther you get away from there. You'll also see supply units traveling around as they transport goods to bases. Those are probably the ones who pass near our village. Hey, Rao! We've been spotted! There's more than I expected. But we can still take them. Hold up! Looks like they've got us surrounded. An ambush? What do we do? We're sitting ducks out here! Watch your rear! Biel's, thief, you ready for this? Like you have to ask. How many times must I tell you to address him as Prince Beelzebub? God makes my head spin. I am intrigued. Well, so it goes. Do you think we'll ever explore all of Sandland? The thought makes my head spin. I am intrigued, though. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back.
We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. talk you out of it. Please, at least try to be sneaky about it. <laughs> there! That'll show ya! Dang. It's busted. Looks like they disabled it in advance to keep us from using it. They read us like a book. This commander's a pro. So you're saying this was all for nothing? No, I think we can get it fixed. Just need the right materials. We can use this to find out about the area. If we can get it fixed up, that is. We can repair it, just need materials. News office? This is Shiva. Former General Shiva. Yes, the man himself. I have something I want to tell the people of this country, if you'll let me transmit it. Yes. Right away, please. We have just received radio contact from a man claiming to be General Shiva himself. What? He has a message for you all, and while we have not been able to confirm his identity, we have agreed to transmit his words live on air, beginning now. This is Shiva. First, allow me to sincerely apologize to you all for any distress I may have caused. All units, cut the engines! Make it quiet! I freely confess to the crime of stealing a tank. But unlike what you were told previously, I have not attacked any villages with it. I swear this on my life. It is not my aim to spread panic and confusion amid this country. I intend only to find a legendary spring, which I assure you is no mere fairy tale. For this country cannot withstand any more drought! S spring Did he say spring? Wh what is he even talking about? So please, just allow me to finish this mission without interference. When I find the spring, I promise to make its location public and return the tank I stole. That is all. Actually, I have one final message for a certain person on an entirely different subject. Though this doesn't absolve my role in causing that explosion 30 years ago, I've learned the truth behind it. Commander Zeyu, you are the only one I will never forgive. Over and out. Mr. Shiva, a question if you, uh, I'm afraid he's cut the line. <laughs> Contact the news office immediately! Tell them that they are never to allow that criminal to speak freely on air again! This is bad, isn't it, Zayu? He said something about the truth behind that explosion! Uh, and then there's that spring he said he's looking for. D do you think what he's really referring to is our secret water source? Oh, this is bad. Very, very bad. I'm sorry for dragging you two into this. All right, let's keep heading south. Here we go.
up there. We could reach it if we had a vehicle that could jump. Why did you have to go pick a fight with the commander of the Royal Army? Sorry, when it comes to that man, I just can't keep my com- Poser. I swear, the moment he shows up, I'm out of here. Good, you do that. This score is- his mind is settled. You th think the army's gonna come after us? Without a doubt. They heard that broadcast. They aren't gonna s sit by and let us do what we said. Interesting. Hmm? Looks like there's something up there. We could reach it if we had a vehicle that could jump. Supreme Commander Zeus, sir. Yes, sir. I believe General Shiva is very close. He is no general. A mere ghost requires no title. Don't even try to capture him alive. Understand? Kill him! Once and for all! That's an order! Uh, forgive me, but might I ask you just one thing, Supreme Commander? What Jet Shiva said about the truth behind that explosion. What exactly do you think he meant by that? You see, my own father was killed in that explosion, so. You fool! There is absolutely nothing of the sort! Shiva is only trying to rattle us! Hurry up and get rid of him already! My apologies! Papa? He said he's looking for a spring. You don't! Don't fall for it! He's just pretending to be some selfless goody-two-shoes! 
You can't trust people like that. Though if there's one thing we can agree on, it's that Zeo's a damn rat. All right. Come on, Guppy. Fire one shot right at the midpoint between Shiva and the Royal Army. Got it, Papa. It's Shiva! All tanks, prepare for battle! Enemy tank brigade! They're close by! W what? Prepare to engage! Hurry! Prince, take cover behind the rocks and swing around in the other direction to attack them! Back into position! Nice! All the enemy tanks are toast! A fight like that must have been a piece of cake for you, Prince. <laughs> I know! Pretty badass, huh? Hold on. That was way too easy. Their commander's probably still... Get them! Prince, that's the commander! As long as their commander still stands, this battle won't end! Take him out! Prince, attack from their blind spot! You can do this, Prince! for a water source for Sandland's people. Is it true? Yeah, it's the truth. The king's water is too expensive for most people to even afford the bare minimum to survive. So I promised my village that I would find a legendary hey. spring. And they pooled what little money they had to send me off. And do you truly believe that such a spring exists? Of course I do. Something doesn't add up about the King's Water Source. There's some secret there, huh? Sorry, but as a general of the Royal Army, I'm afraid that's one question I can't answer! Damn it! Hey, soldier! Are you hurt? No, sir! We're all fine! Unbelievable. He's superhuman. He, he saw through our tactics and completely disabled our unit with zero loss of life. 
is exactly the man my father said he was. I can't hope to compete. He's on a whole different plane. I'm afraid I can't tell you about the spring, and despite not answering your question, I have one for you. On the radio, you mentioned the truth behind the explosion 30 years ago. What is it? You may not want to hear it. I believe it, but I've got no hard proof. I am Are, the son of Apo, one of your very own officers. Please, tell me. I need to know the truth of my father's death. A Poe's son, eh? I see. Very well, then. Thief, you're our source. He should hear it from you. You've got to be. Must I do everything around here? Uh, hold on! Don't tell me you heard this story from him! You take the word of a demon? If you won't listen to what he has to say, I can't force you. But let me say this. In this whole twisted world, I haven't met anyone as honest as these two. I trust them far, far more than any human, at least. Would you let prejudice blind you to the truth? Just like how our fear and suspicion of the Peachy caused this terrible tragedy. The Peachy? What do you mean by that? Papa! The guys from the army look like they're surrendering! Ugh! Bunch of spineless cowards! At least they're all together in one spot with Beelzebub. Now's our chance. Guppy! Turn every last one of them into fertilizer with that cannon of yours! That bounty's as good as ours! <laughs> Damn it! What was that just now? A cannon? No. Don't tell me there was another tank. No. It came from somewhere above us. I'll hop up high and look around. Whoop. It's the swimmers! Those little... Beelzebub spotted us! <laughs> Time to split! Dang it! They got away again! I'm gonna pulverize them next time! That Beelzebub just saved our lives. Perhaps it's true that we've misjudged the demons. All right, I'll hear it. Tell me the story of what caused the explosion 30 years ago, thief. Nope. Not till I hear the magic word. You little imp! Who do you think you're? Silence, you! Please just tell me! Please! Ugh. All right. Enough. Listen up. Possible. No, surely that can't be true. I know Commander Zayu is a cold man, but I can't believe he could be so inhuman. Well, we've said our piece. 
and sorry, but it looks like we'll have to borrow the tank a bit longer. Sir, are you sure? Should we really be letting Shiva go like this? What do you mean by that? We never had him to begin with. What? We almost did, until the swimmers struck out of nowhere, that is. They took out our tanks, then fled. That is what happened, isn't it? Sir, yes, sir! Now, I guess I should make my report to Supreme Commander Zeyu. No, there's something I have to confirm with the King first. Okay, now we can finally start heading south again. <laughs>